A ratchet line is one of the simplest lines to set by yourself and is also usually the easiest available line for beginners to learn on. But the ratchet can also be very dangerous if not set properly. So remember these little tips whenever you set your ratchet line. After you have scanned the area to make sure the ground is safe for landing and the trees you have selected are healthy and thick enough to be used, pad your trees with some type of tree protection and uncoil your line enough to wrap it around the tree and pass it through the loop. Fold the webbing in half along the tree so that it straightens the way the line sits and adjust the line so that it comes out in the center of the tree. Slide your hands along the webbing as you walk the line to the other side. Put the ratchet on the other tree, fold the webbing in half so that it straightens the way the ratchet sits and adjust it so that the ratchet comes out in the middle and aligns with the opposite tree. Put your flat webbing through the slit in the ratchet. Your ratchet should be facing down. Make sure it's not twisted, otherwise it can get stuck and you won't be able to open your ratchet. If there is too much webbing in the spool, your webbing may get stuck and you may not be able to open it afterwards. Too much webbing may also block the locking mechanism and make your line unsafe to use. Pull it tight until there is some tension and then start cranking the ratchet. Once you start feeling a decent amount of tension, close the ratchet making sure it's locked. Then sit in the middle of the line. If you hit the bottom, the line is not tight enough and you need to crank the ratchet a few more times. Do this again until the line is at a good level and does not touch the bottom when you are on it. Remember not to over tighten the line or it will be more difficult to walk. When you are ready to start slacklining, make sure the ratchet is locked and then tie a backup. A backup line is important in case the ratchet fails. Yes, it happens and it can be really dangerous for you and the people around you. Take the loose part of the line and walk it around the tree. Then go over the line twice creating a loop and then feed it inside back towards the ratchet. To finish, cinch it towards the tree. If your line does not have a long ratchet end, please use slings and a shackle. Using some attachment parts which are thinner than 35mm, like a rope, will damage the tree. Also keep in mind that this recommendation is for a beginner ratchet line which is a fairly low tension. If you are setting a trick line with ratchets, use the manufacturer's recommended tie-off, which should be stronger than this method. Now you are ready to practice and have fun! Please check out our other videos showing more of the beauty and magic of slacklining. And please help slacklining grow and help us share the love by liking, subscribing or commenting.